Welcome to Dank GH YouTube channel, your trusted CBT learning platform. Today's lesson is about abuse and safeguarding which is one topic you will be tested on. I hope you enjoy the lesson and do well to subscribe. Safeguarding. Safeguarding means protecting someone from abuse and neglect of any kind. It is your duty as a nurse or midwife that people are safe and free from any harm. The CARE Act 2012 introduced legal duties about safeguarding and it's the piece of legislation that covers safeguarding adults who are vulnerable. Adults in this regard is anyone above the age of 18 years. Safeguarding of anyone below this age is covered under the Children's Act. Forms of Abuse 1. Physical Abuse This includes assault, misuse of medication, restraint, slapping, etc. 2. Sexual Abuse includes rape, sexual assault, sexual harassment, inappropriate touching or looking, indecent exposure, sexual photography. 3. Psychological abuse. This could be threats of harm, humiliation, coercion, intimidation, controlling, verbal abuse, unreasonable withdrawal of services or supportive networks, deprivation of contact. 4. Financial abuse. This is typically fraud, theft, exploitation, coercion in relation to your financial arrangements like wills, inheritance or benefits. 5. Neglect. It consists of ignoring medical and physical care needs of a person, withholding the necessities of life example water, food, clothes. Person has always been dirty, malnourished and not in good clothes. 6. Discriminatory abuse. This is discrimination on grounds of race, gender, disability, sexual orientation, religion or other forms of treatment. 7. Institutional abuse. This is solely poor care practice within an institution or specific care setting like care home, hospital. 8. Domestic abuse. It comes in patterns of violence, coercive, controlling and patterns of intimidation which occurs at home from a partner, family member or neighbor. 9. Modern day slavery. Example is human trafficking, forced to work against your will, forced prostitution, domestic servitude, forced organ removal, forced marriage, forced begging. 10. Female genital mutilation. This is illegal and considered a form of abuse in the UK. Your duty as a nurse or midwife in safeguarding. It is your legal duty as a nurse to identify any form of abuse and report immediately following the guidelines. You are to report it to your safeguarding lead. The following are keynotes. 1. Make accurate documentation of information revealed by patient and document any actions taken by you. In case you shared information, record what you shared and to whom. 2. Don't ask misleading questions, record facts not assumptions. 3. Once a patient discloses information, tell them what the information revealed will be used for. That is, it will be shared to ensure their safety. 4. It's a multi-agency approach, the police will be involved in cases that demands investigation. 5. Be honest and don't promise to keep it a secret. 6. Seek consent from patient to share information however this can be overridden if patient and public safety is at risk. 7. Share information securely. If information is shared should be encrypted when sending to other agencies. Trial test. When visiting a family, you notice the home environment is hazardous and the newborn infant is wearing heavily soiled nappy. What action should you take? A. Discuss with parents, change the soiled nappy, document findings and make safeguarding referab. Change soiled nappy and arrange further visit the following day C. Leave the home immediately and escalate concerns D. Change the soiled nappy, weigh baby and document findings. 2. What approach does a nurse take if they are working with a family who appears to be victims of racial harassment? A. Ask the GP to make a safeguarding referab. Make a safeguarding referral. Ask the school to make a safeguarding referral. Make a safeguarding referral to consider removal. 3. Michael feels very uncomfortable when the carer visiting him always gives him a kiss and holds him tightly when he arrives and leaves his home. What type of abuse is this? A. Emotional abuseb. Psychological abusek. 
discriminatory abused, sexual abuse. 4. During the day, Mrs. Naji was sat on a chair and has a table put in front of her to stop her getting up and walking about. What type of abuse is this? A. Physical abuse B. Psychological abuse C. Emotional abused. Discriminatory abuse. 5. Sanvi cannot get herself a drink because of her disability. Her carers only give her drinks three times a day so she does not wet herself. What type of abuse? A. Physical abuseb. Institutional abusek. Neglected. Sexual abuse.